Hi guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be making a PC chip, a type of a circuit board chip. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the rounded square tool and make a square. We're going to remove the outline and make a fill color to sort of a greenish color. We're going to duplicate that, put that on top and send it to the back and give it a darker fill color. We're going to get the type tool, I'm just going to type the letter A, you can type whatever you want and change that to the lightest grey color available. I'm going to give that an outline the same as the larger square. The next thing we're going to get the eclipse tool, we're going to make a circle, remove the fill and you want a light green color in this case. And this is basically going to be the circuit kind of components now going inside. So stroke value is three points, just dot them randomly throughout, keeping them inside the square. And next thing we're going to do those spokes which kind of come out on in the from the edges of the chip. So again, we can do that with we did that with the um rounded rectangle tool, send it to the back, just like so. Give it a gray color. Uh, we're going to use that line tool to kind of distribute them evenly. We're going to group them and alt hold and copy them to the bottom. We're going to cold shift and rotate them so it's nicely 90 degrees, like so. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the pen tool. And I'm just testing it out here now. And the trick is to start from the just the edge where, where you can see the outline of the circle and work your way outwards towards the inner um, rectangle. So just keep doing that. A uh, trick over here is to hold shift as you're making the lines with the pen tool. That will help you keep either a 45 or a 90 degree angle all the time. It'll just give your design a bit more consistency throughout. Yep, so just keep repeating this process. <laughs> I don't like that one, can remove it, can touch it there, just so I can have enough space to do that one. And for this line and the other one, we just kind of send it backwards because we want the letter to kind of stand out here. And in essence, that's pretty much it. Nice simple design concept. What I'm gonna do is now is just make a different blue chip. So to get here, I just went to edit and recolor artwork. And whatever color you choose, you can change to that appropriate color afterwards. It's you know easier than individually selecting each selecting each component and changing it like that. It's much quicker. So yep, that's pretty much it. Another thing which is probably interesting, which I can try, is I'm just gonna enlarge this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make get these rectangle tool make the whole background a light gray color it just makes the whole design more easy on the eyes and I just use the pathfinder tool to unify all that just gonna make it black apply Gaussian blur and I'm gonna send it to the back and you can add all sorts of effects and shading and shadowing and you know different more components or whatever trans resistors etc to make the whole chip look a bit more effective. So I'm just adjusting the Gaussian blur over here just to give it that effect I need. I'm gonna, so it's the color as well is set to black at the moment. I'm gonna just tone it down a bit as well. Around 50% gray. I'm just gonna repeat that there. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is to join the two chips together. Again with the pen tool, holding shift to give it consistency. Like, so, we're just going to repeat that for all the those spokes coming out. As you can see, the outline color for this circuit is white. So, you know, nothing too strong. It's kind of a very subtle effect is what I was going for here. I mean, you can play with the color. Just see what works for you best. Just gonna finish up here. And there we have it. 